Welcome to another Electro Technology video. And today we're going to learn one of the most important skills that you can learn as an electrician. How to strip cable. So, in electrical, we basically have a whole bunch of different types of cable that we need to use. This cable I have here with me is probably the most common that you'll come across. This is called TPS cable, thermoplastic sheath. It is double insulated, which means it has an outer insulation layer and an inner insulation layer. So today I'm going to show you how to strip this cable and get it ready for termination. So firstly, I start with my TPS. And what I plan on doing with this is I'm going to make an indentation with my pliers just along here. There we go. Now I'm not cutting through the insulation, just making an indentation. As you can see, you can just see it's just breaking apart, but that's perfectly fine. What I want to do with this is I now want to move my pliers around to this side and I want to hold on to just one of the seams and then I will twist and it will break like that. And then what will happen is when I pull it down and take the cable out of the insulation, I bring it down to that seam and it will just snap off nice and neatly. So that's the outer insulation removed. Now I need to remove the insulation from my individual wires. So I'll choose the active. And to do this, this is a really a knack. What you need to do is put your pliers on the conductor. Again, slightly bite down on it, okay? We're not trying to cut through. Really important, we don't try to cut through. And then we just spin our pliers around like this. And then the idea is you hold onto the cable, use your thumb, press it up against your pliers and this, don't press it here because that's, if you're working on live cabling, that would be a point of contact and that will be live as well. So you don't want to do that. You want to put it on the insulation and it's a flicking motion. So what you're trying to do is this, okay? You're pivoting on your thumb and you're flicking this cable off. Now, as I said, it's really important you don't bite through into the copper with your jaws, your pliers. If you do that, what happens is this part of your plier will bite into the copper and it'll get stuck and it won't be able to get it. You won't be able to get the, the insulation off. So it's just a matter of doing that. And you can see, and I'm trying to do this slowly, you can see how I'm pulling away from the copper. I'm not biting into the copper. And when you do that successfully, it'll come off like that. And done. Nice bare copper. Okay, so next thing we have to do is we have to make sure our length is correct. Now, I've been doing this for many, many years, so I'm just in the habit of getting the right length. Generally, I'd like to do it this way. If you look at the jaws of your pliers, if you make your cable twice the length of the flat section of your jaws, so you can see mine's just a little bit longer because I'm gonna show you why in a moment. Um, but if you make it about twice that length, that's gonna be the right length for you. Now, we hold on to the copper at the very end, okay, not down here, nowhere else, at the very end, and we twist, and we twist in a clockwise fashion. Now, when I'm twisting, what I'm kind of doing at the same time is I'm just giving it a little bit of tension, just pulling a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit, and that way, it should twist into what looks like a piece of rope. And as I'm doing that, Occasionally, I might move my pliers just down further, further down, just grip it and twist it a little bit if I see anything that needs to be kind of straightened out. And then once I've got that looking good, like that, then what I need to do is I need to just nick the end off this because the end's a bit daggy and I don't want that. There we go. Now, this being about the right size, I should be able to fold this cable over like that, and if I bring that around, what should happen, and it hasn't in this case, so I'm gonna show you how to fix this, what should happen is the 
copper shouldn't go past the insulation. Now you can see I have in this case, so I'm just gonna open that up a little bit, give it a bit of a trim. And then bring that back. And you can see that that wire is nicely wrapped around. It looks like a piece of rope and it is folded over correctly. And it needs to be folded over because when you put it into the terminal block and the screw bites down on that screw, you want it so the screw cannot slide off either way. So if there's that bend, it'll bite into the middle, push them apart and it'll grip that wire, which is what you want. Okay, now what happens if we want to join more than one wire together. So I have already pre-stripped these wires here and I'm just gonna choose one of them. I'm gonna choose the active wire. And the way we do this is we put them together so they are even, the insulation should be even. And with my pliers, I'm going to grab hold of both conductors and spin just like I did with a single conductor same deal, Let's spin that around, and you can see, as I can see where the twists are, I'm slowly moving my pliers just up and down to make sure they bite in correctly. And once I've done that, I will then nick the end of it, like so, all done. So that is how you strip your cable correctly. Remember, if it's a single cable, you twist it and fold it over. If it is more than one cable, then you twist them together. You don't twist them individually, you leave them unstranded and then you twist them together and then you can cut them off. You do not need to fold over multiple cables that are twisted together. So, I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you in the next video.